Man City is finally back and this is where top 4 gets very interesting. Five goals, a very resounding win against Norwich City welcoming them back to the Premier League. Simba, did you expect that? Oof, of course, yes. I mean, um, they could have not lost the second game. Mm -hmm. I mean, the worst we would have expected from Man City today was a draw. Mm -hmm. If things would go south, mm -hmm. but guess what? They did not lose it as expected. And I think this is exactly now when Man City shows you that we are here. We have the firepower. Mm -hmm. We're not here to experiment. If, if, if you remember well in 20... Uh, 20, 2019 2020 season when Norwich were promoted back then to the Premier League. The first game against, against Man City, they beat City 3 2. I mean, uh, the same could have repeated today. Smaller teams have a smaller pattern with mm -hmm. bigger teams. There are those teams that we don't like facing as mm -hmm. Arsenal. Same, mm -hmm. same thing to Man City as well. Mm -hmm. And I think Norwich is really trying to, it's, it's been comfortable with that team. Mm -hmm. And I think. If you get comfortable mm -hmm. uh, with some team as well, especially sure. in the top four, mm -hmm. you would actually see this kind of results that we're talking about. Do, do you think Norwich are still making the same mistakes as what they did uh, last time and ended up uh, being relegated? And I think they are. I mean, if you saw the way that they played today, mm -hmm. they let City play. They, they came in to they came into a court city. I mean, <laughs> but when, when you see the kind of own goals that we, we even saw from um, yeah. Tim Crow, uh -huh. then you was actually say, well, it's, they, they knew they were playing city. They didn't come to defend. Mm -hmm. and, and he's uh, a very exper experienced goal a goalkeeper, uh, Tim Krul. Uh, we can't doubt uh, his, his, his potential. But, but today, I mean... But I, I saw that. I mean, but, but, but then again, you've got to give it to city. I mean, mm -hmm. when you give a smaller team that kind of pressure mm -hmm. that they gave them today, I mean... Well, mistakes are bound to happen by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And if you saw the way that uh, Norwich were playing, mm -hmm. they were not really pushing City. Mm -hmm. They were trying to play the game. You can't play your game against City. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the way City are playing, and then you say, what are we going to do to stop them from playing? Wow. If you come with your own game and then play against City, City are going to play better than you. Mm -hmm. you got to find ways to distort them. you got to find ways to stop Grealish, to stop Sterling. Sterling, if you let Sterling express himself the way he did today, He's gonna score mm. by the end of the day. He's gonna create chances, mm. and that's exactly what we saw today. Sure, yeah. Jack Grealish, hundred million pounds from uh, Aston Villa to Man City, uh, British record scoring to, uh, today, second goal for Man City, opening his account of goals. Is he the man? Does he fit uh, that price tag? It fit the bill before it even came to Man City. The only problem that I have is that price tag. Mm -hmm. That price tag tends to put a lot of pressure on players. That you you got to perform, you got to play good. You, you, you mean? Every, good. Every, every touch of your ball has to be magic. No. Grealish is not worth 100 million pounds? He is not. Just, just that the, the, the market right now is quite inflated. I mean, mm -hmm. ask Arsenal. They're buying Ramsdale uh, at a price that is actually even bigger than mm -hmm. Manchester United got Varane. I mean, when oh. you look at that, it's... Well, here's Where's the thing. The Grealish had a lot of takers. He's the thing. It was not good. But then the thing is, is he worth 100? Mm -hmm. I do not think so. It's close to that. But I don't think he's 100. So what does he need to do at City? Perhaps is this to, to, to justify... Uh, Play the, same way, play the same way they used to play at Aston Villa. Mm -hmm. You will be good because that's exactly why you went to City. And I like Pep. Pep subbed him today mm -hmm. just to show him, mm -mm, you're my squad player. Mm -hmm. You're not the gold in the team. No, you're just my squad player. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sub you because the truth is I've got options. You just came in to make me better if, and I could afford you. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll do agree with me that if he has to replicate uh, his form... Uh, uh, that he had at Aston Villa at Man City, one player has to allow him to that, and that is KDB. And I, I don't think so. And I don't think that's going to happen. Because they yeah. play similar roles. They, they play similar play roles, but, but that, that's it. But I think Pep is looking at it from this perspective. Mm. If at all I'm going to play Champions League football, and that has been quite elusive for Man City. Mm -hmm. They seem to have got um, the domestic football really good. Mm -hmm. But over a couple of seasons, they're not really figuring out where the problem is in Champions League. So the thing is, do I get somebody in who's going to make me better? Mm -hmm. Going to give me that extra firepower? So that's it's true. Really uh, how, that. how do the two now play in, in it's one, the thing. one game? Uh, you got to stop them. That's it. You gotta decide which team, which game Grealish is gonna play and which which game Kevin De Bruyne is yeah, gonna play. That, like today, no that's KDB. What I'm looking at it. No KDB. No, no, no KDB no, no was not expected to play. No problem. But you saw exactly what Grealish did. So mm -hmm. when I don't have KDB, 
relish can play. Mm -hmm. And KDB, I, I'm, I'm praying that he doesn't get into the injury um, b b s s pattern that he got into last season. Mm -hmm. Because if he does, mm -hmm. then Grealish mm -hmm. is going to take up his phone and that will be good. Uh, the, the first goal for Man City, assist from Gabriel uh, Jesus, has been very inconsistent. But this season, uh, Aguero is no more at City. Uh, Gabriel Jesus is expected uh, to be the man. Can you score the goals? Right. The, the, the thing is that, that the whole area of saying Gabriel Jesus is expected to be the man, he will not, he will not, he will not. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, when you graduate a player who's so advanced in their career, mm -hmm. um, I'll give you an example, Walcott, when he was crying to be a number nine at yeah. Arsenal, we gave him that chance, crying he did for, not for, prove for, it. For, for, for theories, uh, Jazzy? Th that's it. He, he, did not, he did not prove it. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, mm -hmm. I do not expect Jesus to be the man to give Man City goals this season. And that's the only, um, that's the only thing that I'm looking at Man City this season. I'm asking mm. myself the question, is the fact that they have no number nine? Yeah. Is that going to they be the factor no to why? Is that, is that going to be the factor to why? Jesus. That's it. Is that going to be the reason as to why mm. they cannot retain that league? Mm -hmm. Is that going to be the reason why Chelsea and, and Manchester United are going to look better than Man City this season? Because yeah. they expect Jesus but to score. But if, if, if you look at their team, so if they have so many creative midfielders who score many goals. Chelsea had the, Chelsea, 10, Chelsea 10 had the same. Chelsea season. had the same thing last season. Mm -hmm. Did that did that help them win the league? No. Because here's the thing: there's a difference between a competition and a league. Mm. In a league, you need to fire in all the fronts for you to be better than your mates. So, so what happens if they get a Hurricane in? They will win the league, definitely. Sure, no more problems. Favorite. Top favorite, no no challenge. They will win the league. Sterling, very inconsistent last season, but today, you guess what? Comes in with a goal. That's it. Do you mean, uh, is there a way maybe the Euros have helped him to revive himself? I, I don't think it's about the Euros, and I, I told you that before we started this. I think Sterling now, he, he doesn't have that spotlight at Man City. He's so much surrounded. There are players who want to take his spot, fine, mm -hmm. and right now, he's playing as part of the team. And that's one good thing that helps um, a player's game grow. I think now Sterling, mm -hmm. is the Sterling that you expect to come in and give you that stability? Because then you've surrounded him with better means, players as means, well. means uh, Sterling yeah. plays well without pressure. That's it. That, 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 that's what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and you saw the way he started last season, he started really good, gave us a lot of goals, then mid-season it went down again, but then mm -hmm. shot up in the Euros as well. If you give him that system, if you give him that, 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 that environment for him to mm -hmm. give you the goals and the chances, sure. it's going to give you an another like the big way character game, today, today, another big character is Americ Laporte. Big defender, scoring uh, another goal today, we see last season he really struggled for playing time, but today when he comes in, he scores. Does that uh, uh, give pre uh, Pep Guardiola now a lot of pressure to know who does he feel? The thing I like about Pep this season is that he got a lot of options. Mm -hmm. The only thing he's missing is just in his striking force. Mm -hmm. Laporte is another good player. We've seen him come in today. You saw exactly the way he played, got a goal to his name, but that's not the major contribution, especially when you look at Laporte. Mm -hmm. I think for Laporte, you've got to look at him and how stable is in the team. And when you look at some of the defenders that Man City has right now, mm -hmm. is what? Top two, top three. I mean, if you have to pick him, mm -hmm. you have to pick him. Mm -hmm. If you can't pick him as well, then somebody's going to ask you a question. And the only reason is why you can't pick him is probably when he's not available for the team. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the good thing about Laporte. Yeah, and finally, well. Puki, top striker man for Norwich City. Uh, been doing so well in the Champions League. He did well in the first uh, previous season that Norwich uh, was in the Premiership. Do you think this season he can help Norwich survive the chop? That, that's the thing as well. For Norwich this season, the only thing that um, you're looking at is that they got to win those games that they have to win. Mm -hmm. That's it. But you know, for you to survive, you have to win the games that you have to win. And then when you win these games out of hard work and, and, and a proper strategy, then you're saying, well, that's an added, uh, that's an added one. Mm -hmm. For him, I think, uh, and the manager has to look at it and then say, I have to put you in a place where you're scoring. Give me the 10 plus, give me the nine plus goals this mm -hmm. season. Mm -hmm. and, and then be part of the team really good because if it's, it's scores, then no, we have a chance against the oh. teams that they have to win. Really? Yes. Sure enough, that is it for today. You can't get any better than here on Top 4. So what you need to do is to subscribe down here and be part of our team as we explore the Premier League this season. Don't stay away.